I'm Greg McHale from the Wild Yukon, and let's talk boots. Specifically, let's talk cold weather boots. Living up here in the Yukon, we spend a lot of our hunting season in really cold temperatures, whether it's hunting late season for moose in the high country or in the dead of the winter for bison. How do you get a warm boot that is gonna cover all of the bases that you need? And that's why it is really easy for me to sit here with Zamberlins and go, this is the boot for cold weather that will get it all done. The Polar Hunter is the lightest and warmest boot that I've ever used that can provide amazing technical support to get you through a hunt that normally I would be wearing this massive monstrosity of an ugly boot that I've been wearing for years until the Polar Hunter came along. This thing has been a revolutionary game changer for our team and the ability to almost hike the mountains just like you're in a regular hiking boot through snow up to your thighs at minus 30 to minus 40 and not really have to worry about anything. As long as you keep moving, like this is the kind of boot that is gonna provide all the warmth that you're ever gonna need. So some of the technical features that this boot has that make it really shine are right off the top, when we're dealing with snow here in the Yukon, it's the external gaiter. I don't have to wear gaiters. This will keep all the snow out of my boots, no problem. And then we've got a zipper that is waterproof. It's a big deal. Then we open it up and really this boot is, it's almost like a ski boot, but with the whole gaiter attached to it. Often in the winter time with the boots that I've used in the past, the lacing systems become a big problem. If you go between a thaw and freeze, if you're by the fire, your laces get wet and then you walk away from the fire and then they freeze and you can't get them undone. So that's where this BOA system really shines. So quick and easy, it never fails. It's just an amazing system. It's the first pair of boots that I've ever used with it. And I really, really like it, especially in the winter conditions here. Easy to do up, really quick. You don't have to worry about freezing your hands. We're dealing with temperatures minus 30 to minus 40 on some of these bison hunts. So we're not talking about, you know, a few degrees below freezing. We're talking major cold temperatures. And for the, uh, the weight of these boots, it's almost like you're wearing a hiking boot out on an expedition of a winter hunt. And what really is blowing me away is this boot and the weight of it. I'm so used to wearing these boots that they do keep you warm, but that's really all they do. You can't hike with them. They have really poor ankle support. The only function that boots in the past that I've ever worn do is really just keep you warm. Now that's where this thing has become a real game changer. We have one pair of boots that we can go from the start to the finish of the hunt, you know, down to minus 30. And that's a big deal when you're not having to snowmobile in with a bunch more equipment and a bunch more boots. When you've got the one-stop shop, I love it because I can also throw a snowshoe on it. And instead of breaking through snow up to your waist, now put a snowshoe on this boot. It makes life a lot easier. Whereas a lot of the other boots I've used are not snowshoe compatible. I can't say enough good things about the Polar Hunter. I really recommend that if you're looking for a cold weather boot that performs like a hiking boot, this is really what you should check out because I've never seen anything better. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you've ever used a pair of boots like this. If you've got a pair of them, let us know how they're working for you. But if you're looking for a cold weather boot, this is the one-stop shop right here. You won't need to go anywhere else. So some of the technical features that these boots actually have are really what make them shine. So the external gaiter, obviously it's huge to keep out the snow out of your pants and out of your, out of your boot. Take two. I'm not gonna talk about you know, the super technicalities of 
you know, what goes into a boot like this. But the, so some of the technical features that this boot has that make